Hey everybody, welcome to the homestead. So I'm in the greenhouse and just like last year, we have a pest problem that we're going to have to address and address quickly. Uh, last year we came in a few times when all of our fall plants were growing and growing well. Uh, they were starting to get some size and I came out one day and I saw a bunch of them chewed down. And I came out again another day and a bunch more were chewed down. And I'm like, what is going on here? And I quickly realized what we had um, was what's called, some, they call it around here, a pack rat. And it's basically a rat. It's, a, it's different from your other types of rats. It's got uh, big ears, kind of like a chinchilla, but it's basically, uh, it's called a pack rat. And it's a rat. And it comes in here and it loves plants and it will chew down your plants. And you've got to get it and you've got to get it early uh, because if not, he will have its way uh, in this greenhouse. And so first things first is we're going to dispatch of him the way I dispatched him uh, last year. Uh, this is probably one of his buddies. And so we're going to do it the same way. And this time I'm going to share it with you so that if you ever encounter this problem, you can do the same thing. It's easy, foolproof. It works almost every single time you try it. Uh, and you can actually dispatch a number of other pests that you may have with the same method. So stick around here. Let's go ahead and show you what I got. So here I am amongst some of my kale plants, and these are what's called a 110 conibear. Now back when I was doing a lot of trapping, um, I learned how to use these things, and they are excellent at taking down a, a number of different uh, small pests like squirrels or, you know, all kinds of things like, you know, pack rats. Uh, these work absolutely excellent. So um, we're going to do the same thing. Then I have a, a, a little butter knife and some peanut butter. So the peanut butter is to put on the trap. Uh, the rat will come, this is simple, very simple, the rat comes and you put the peanut butter on the two trigger pieces here and uh, he comes and licks those, he usually steps right in the middle of it uh, to get to the peanut butter and you've got him at that point point. and this basically will kill him instantly. Uh, there's no suffering, no no traumatic you know, death or anything like that, he's usually dead instantly, it's going to break his back or break his neck and he's not going to feel a thing, it's just over. So uh, how you set these are really really simple and but first thing you need to do is put the peanut butter on here so we'll go ahead and put the peanut butter on and then walk you through how to set the trap. So you just open up the jar Da, da, da. These nice, pretty kale plants. I want to give them a chance to survive before this pack rat comes in here and has his way with them. And so you just take that and you just smear that onto the little triggers like that. Give a good coating on it like that. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's going to be just irresistible to this little rat that's coming in here. I've, I learned early on that 110 kind of bears are probably some of the most effective traps for little types of critters. Um, it's just, there's all kinds of different ways you can set these and different methods. Uh, where I was at from Missouri before, uh, these were highly illegal uh, to use them in a fashion called a squirrel pole. And basically you take a pole, if you have lots of squirrels and they're getting into your garden, uh, a guy told me that you take the squirrel pole and you set it at a 45 degree angle and you set these up and down the squirrel pole and the squirrel will automatically run up the, run up, uh, the, the pole or the 2x4, I usually use a 2x4, and he'll run right through these traps. And a squirrel pole is something that, like a 2x4, you set it at a 45 degree angle on a tree and you set like four or five of these things up uh, on the, along the 2x4. And instead of running up the tree, he'll run up that 2x4 set at a 45 degree angle almost every time. And you set this during the early morning of the day and you come out at the end of the day and you've got a pole full of dead squirrels. Um, a lot of the, a lot of what I found, uh, a friend of mine told me, he said, the reason why a lot of things are illegal is because they work. And so this was this method of using a squirrel pole, we're not going to do it here, uh, back in Missouri where I used to live, uh, was an illegal way to catch squirrels. But how you set this thing, now that this is all set, you're just going to squeeze the spring here and just kind of pull, oh, i got to make sure I get it in the middle. Pull it apart like that, now it's set. You take the little trigger, there we go. There we go. There, now it's set. Now all I'm going to do with this is just set this down inside one of the beds and leave it for Mr. Rat to where he's been eating at. Uh, he's been eating some of my carrots over there, I see. So I'm going to put it inside of there and uh, go ahead and just wait. Put that back up on there. Wait uh, for uh, him to come along and uh, go ahead and... Uh, 
step on this and we'll have Mr. Squirrel. I'm going to take a little bit of this peanut butter and stick it inside this part of the top part of the trigger. That's usually a place where they love to get in there. And if they've cleaned everything else off, they'll try to get their tongue in there. And uh, that'll be their demise right there. I've caught a lot of them by just putting the butter up at the top. So that's it. Very simple, you know. And you put that in the bed, and we'll, we, I got three of these, three more, or two more kind of bears, so three sets, three sets total, and we'll put these out, and by tomorrow, I'm pretty sure we're going to have our culprit. Hey, everybody, it's the next day. We're going to go inside and see if we have our culprit. Let's go check it out. Oh, look at that, right there. Look at that. Dead, 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 dead ski. And look at that, he chewed down a bunch of my plants. Good gravy. Well, we got him. Hey, listen, if you guys want a really surefire way to get rid of pests like this guy, who is in your garden and they're taking stuff out, they're chewing stuff down, maybe in your greenhouse or in your garden, these 110 kind of bears have saved me time and time again. They're one of the best investments I've ever purchased, and I highly recommend them. Guys, if you want something, find these. I found mine on eBay. Uh, you can find them in a lot of places. Uh, but these little rascals will eat you out of house and home every single time. And you want to make sure not to let them do that. So uh, if you have gardens, you want to make sure, though, you don't have, like, small animals around, you know, that you care about. Uh, some of these little pocket dogs that people buy today because these things will kill them. Uh, but if, you're, if you have a pest problem, uh, squirrels, things like that, these things are amazing at, at taking them out. So, all right. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. We'll see you next time on the homestead. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really means a lot to us. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now you can support an American homestead by becoming a patron. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to see all the benefits of becoming a patron of our channel. You'll get access to private videos, pictures, and even live question and answer sessions that you can participate in. Some patrons will even receive free gifts throughout the year from the homestead. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to check it out and see the rewards of supporting our channel.